Hey Factionistas and welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween new video every day. Today is a pop art Frankenstein and I have to credit the one and only Samantha who brought pop art to us all. She is the queen and she will be linked down below. But getting started I'm using a white face paint and any old brush will do and I'm creating these little um, rectangles for an underbite or an overbite an underbite teeth that, that are, give the illusion that they're coming out of my bottom lip. Super fun. Once I have that done, I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean, and I'm just kind of contouring a little bit where I want the cheekbones to go. And I'm buffing this out, and it doesn't have to be clean or perfect. It's just a rough guide. We're going to go over with this green face paint now from Mayron, and we're going to cover the entire face with that. And we're going to go right over those contour areas. I also contoured the jaw also with that same Black Bean. But now I'm switching to a smaller brush just to get around the teeth so you don't cover those bad boys up. With the black eyeshadow now, this is very simple, and this could definitely second as a child's costume if you're interested. So I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and I'm just haloing it around the eye, nothing crazy. Going in with a little bit of a different green face paint, and I'm going to apply that to the under eye bag, the brow bone, and the inner eye corner. That's just going to add a little bit of dimension by blending it out here. And we're going to go in with black again just to accentuate it, but it's so it has lots of dimension and movement in there. So I'm putting a lot of this darker black eyeshadow now in the eyes, the under eye bags, and the eyebrow. And then you get kind of a little Frankenstein eye. With a felt tip eyeliner, I'm giving the fake hair, but I'm also making sure that it's straight across my forehead so it gives the illusion of Frankenstein's forehead because I'm not using any prosthetics or anything to actually lift my head and make it look square. Uh, if you guys have larger foreheads like me, this is the perfect makeup look for you. I'm also going to wiggle that down into the hairline. Since this is being a pop art inspired look, we want to make it very geometrical. So I'm going into the hair and I'm going to paint all of that black so it looks like it's a cartoon just sitting on top of my head. Do you feel me? Now we're going to go with the Smith brush. It's a lip brush, but look how thin it is. It's like a sword. It's my favorite brush for detail lines. And we're going with a black eyeshadow. And I'm going to enhance that uh, black little cheekbone that we had made further. Do you guys have a brush that can make a line this thin? Because I did not until I got this one. Like a liner brush is great, but if the slightest little movement, you might wiggle it out of place. But this is the best brush ever. I will link it down below. You have to have it. So we're going to do the same thing now with the same brush on the teeth, but notice that I'm only doing the top part of the tooth and the right-hand side, and I'm continuing that for every single tooth. We're going to go in and shade the left side, but I don't want to go in with a stark black line, or it's going to look a little bit too geometric. You know what I'm saying? So we're going in with this pink face paint now by Mayron, and I'm going to create those bolts that he has on his forehead, but instead of using traditional steel or silver, I'm going in with pink because it's pop art. Duh. Getting all creative in here. And I'm shading the bottom part of it now, which you can't see it because my hand is rude. But then I'm also adding a little bit of that pink into this cheekbone line so it kind of looks like a little bit of flesh is missing. And then we're going to go in later and stitch it up. So it's going to be very Frankenstein inspired up in this B. You feel me? I know you do. Factionistas, ride or dies. I feel ya. Once you have that laid down, now we're going to go in with a pencil brush, and I'm going to shade the left side of that tooth. There is no product on this brush whatsoever. It's picking up the eyeshadow from the opposite tooth, and then we're going to blend it in a little bit, and that's going to give you some nice dimension. But we're going to carry that same technique on all of the teeth. So now it kind of looks like they're coming out from my bottom lip, and I'm like, Boo! you know what I mean? That's like my whole goal for this little cute little Frankenstein. So I'm going in with white now, and I'm getting those stitch marks over that cheekbone slash gash so it's like functioning as a cheekbone but it's also a stitch like you know what i mean like what and then i'm using that same lip brush by smith cosmetics to add a little bit of black eyeshadow underneath that stitch to get that 3d effect so i'm going to highlight now this bolt a little bit with a little bit of white face paint and i'm just going to apply it in an opposite corner of the shading and then feather it out simple as that opposites so now I wanted the eyebrow to be a little bit starker, so I'm using a black face paint just to sharpen up that line, being that it is pop art, geometric lines at the bottom. And then taking this Vomit Green Eyeshadow by Mayron, and I'm going to apply that to my bottom lip, just to add a little bit of dimension so the lip is a little bit uh, poking out from the rest of the face and then cleaning it up if I need be. I popped in some white contacts, loves them, I'll have those linked down below too, and I'm shading in my inner ear, more depth, love the depth. So now I wanted to go in with like the kind of goofy teeth, I wanted to add a little bit more of a goofy factor, like a frown face, so I'm adding a little bit of pink as tears in my right eye. So in the final look, he's kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? Like, that's my whole goal for this. Mm. So just keep applying that in layers, and these these face paints are very pigmented, so you'll be able to cover up just about anything. You just need to go in with a couple layers and make sure that you don't add too much water. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And then with that same eye call felt tip eyeliner, can you guys tell it's my favorite? I've been using it like every video. I am going to line just the thinnest line humanly possible around that pink tear. Felt tip eyeliners are really the bomb for detail looks like this. But like I said, this can also second as a child's costume, so I hope it's simple enough. And you guys can get Snaz Roo face paints from like Michael's or any of the craft store in the children's face paint aisle. They crack a little bit, but they're pretty good for their price. So now I'm going to shade just around the temple area in a straight line to give me more of that boxy Frankenstein forehead. And that should really do the trick. And off camera, I forgot to show you guys, I put, added a little bit of a butt chin and I did those little eyebrow lines and forehead lines. I don't know where that footage went, it just disappeared. But I mean, very simple, you guys can tell just by looking at it. Since these are geometric, just add those lines. I'm taking this white cream by May Run and I'm adding it to the brow bone. And I'm going to actually eventually get rid of these inner black brow lines because I wanted to make more of that protruding forehead. But then that's the very last step. I'm going to shade right underneath it and, and I'm going to put a little bit of these temples on here too. Or like, yeah, like brow bone temples here and then shade right underneath that center brow bone. And then that is it, my friends. I hope you guys found this to be simple and I hope you guys learned something new today. And I love you guys so much and thank you so much for your love and support. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to pee my pants. But I love you guys so much and definitely subscribe, spread the word, and follow me on social media. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, friends.